Good morning, good morning, good morning. Um, it's super early, seven something or other. Uh, I am here at the conference centre. It's not that exciting. Uh, I'm here at the conference centre at University of Western England. I'm doing a business breakfast. Today I am talking about value, business models and Internet of Things. So that could be quite exciting. Um, some interesting stuff's been going on recently for me. Uh, we've just heard that... I've got a grant from uh, EPSRC, I'm just a small part of a larger team, um, and that is to develop, um, it's, the project's called Optimising Me Manufacturing Systems, it's to develop a on-body manufacturing device that is both a diagnostic system and it also manufactures or activates T-cells, uh, so it, it tests your, your, your blood uh, find out, uh, look for cancer, and then treat it on your body. Um, so yeah, it optimizes me, it's pretty cool. Yeah, it's, it's a pretty exciting project. It's nice to be involved in something that uh, is that sort of cutting edge and potentially does some, does some real good. Also heard um, that the other project I was involved with, with uh, Bath University, which is called uh, Resilient Transdisciplinary Engineers. Uh, that's got green lit, which was excellent because the team who went and presented uh, to the panel at EPSRC didn't think we got it. I'm, again, a very small part of that project because, uh, again, it's mostly engineering, but that's looking at developing uh, engineers with a broader skill set. So, um, obviously, I'm bringing the business model angle to that. So, yeah, pretty cool. Um, so, now I've got to go and do the business breakfast talk here. Uh, wake people up with some hub of all things, get them inspired, talk about Internet of Things. So let's go and do that. Hi, uh, well I had such a long day yesterday, never finished my blog. Um, so I did the talk in the morning, seemed to be very well received, lots of um, retweets and comments on Twitter and LinkedIn. A really great speaker before me, Anu, from um, Space Agency in the UK up in uh, Leeds, I think he is. Really great inspirational speaker. I mean, see an academic perform like that, um, just a great speech, so much passion. So yeah, yesterday went well. Like I said, I've got two grants now from EPSRC. I'm only a small part and um, looking at business models and value uh, in these, you know, really inspiring bids. I'll probably do uh, individual films for each project, um, but it's the people I get to work with um, that's really great. Uh, so yesterday I finished the talks and then we're doing another bid. Uh, we, again with the, a great team, people I really want to work with, have worked with for many years. We're looking at trust and privacy, security, and particularly looking at children's books, which I have a passion for because I, I write them with my daughter. Uh, well, she started really writing them. I, I sort of support that activity. Um, so, But looking at personalisation of books, uh, that would be really great if we got that. So I was working last night till quite late, probably around 9, 9.30. So that meant yesterday started at sort of 6.30 in the morning and finished work at 9.30 and then, you know, a cup of tea, try and relax, try and kick back a little bit. Today has not been an amazingly productive day. It is my birthday. Happy birthday to me. Uh, yeah, it's my birthday today. So today, not productive. Um, difficult to get started but that's fine I did a long day yesterday and I know I'm going to be on probably for a long day tomorrow but I am sat at my desk and I'm going to do a little bit of work good morning um, okay I've not managed to get a single whole blog together so this is going to be a whole bunch of days put together uh, in one so today um, it's Friday I am working on a bid we're putting together that I've mentioned the last few days and um, hopefully that's going to come together we've got a call to make um, with uh, one of the other co-eyes on it we've got to talk through the work package we want to do so that should be super exciting lots of fun I'm working on the paper on business models and sustainability that's nearly there I'm going to read through it put the tweaks in edit it down a little bit past it with my colleague uh, Peter Bradley who's um, he's did some really interesting work, really a uh, deep thinker in this space. So uh, he's an exciting guy to work with. That's pretty cool. Academic life is a lot of time spent sat on your own by a computer uh, doing work um, and putting the hours in. Uh, it, it really is the art of showing up. It's an, you know, eight, eight o'clock in the morning, 8.30 in the morning, sit at your desk and stay there and work and be self-motivated and if you can't do that then academia really is going to be a struggle. The ideas don't come when you're staring at a computer screen that's for sure. Um, 
so you're always on you're always thinking it's pretty tough and um, some people find it quite isolating I guess I've had lots of people I work with and that's what I really like like lots of really original new ideas coming all the time share all your ideas is what I do a colleague of mine said um, there's two sorts of people there's those who work in abundance and those who work in scarcity and what she meant by that was there's people who share everything share all their ideas then there's people who work in scarcity and they hold closely to their ideas and they don't want to work with anyone, they don't share anything. You know, if you work in abundance, you get a great idea, tell everybody. Somebody might steal it, okay. But have another great idea. Have lots of great ideas. You're not going to, you know, run out of ideas if you're an ideas person. Those people who have one idea and they cling on to it, well, that idea's not going anywhere because it's not going to be shaped. It's going to be fairly isolated. Um... So you've got to get out there, share your ideas, share on social media like this, um, conferences, that sort of thing. That's where you get your ideas kicked around. Yeah, every now and again somebody takes it, but that's the whole point of an idea. Why? Uh, what else do we do as an academic other than share thoughts? That's why I publish so much and not always in the best journals, but good journals where you engage in a conversation. And if you're not in another conversation, if your ideas aren't out there published, then what's the point? Okay, that's, uh, that's a little ranty, isn't it? Uh, anyway, I've got to get on with my day. I've got so much to do.